guys this is Edna with Square Eye Photography I'm gonna teach you today how I do newborn photo compilations and how I retouch a little bit here you see I have two images straight from camera I have this one here and this one here they're both pretty good images and I'm gonna use this one as the main image because I have less to retouch and here you can see I'd have to retouch the arm and I'd have to do a lot more work so we're gonna go with this one and the first thing we're gonna do is we want to start cloning out that area so we can just literally copy everything here and paste it on top of here so it looks like okay so right around here I'm just gonna press control C for copy and I'm gonna go over to the next photo and press control V for paste and I'm gonna drop the opacity down you see in your layers tab you can drop the opacity down to about 50 so you can line up the image as best as possible and I usually use my arrow keys here to just really kind of line it up that looks pretty good to me and now I'm gonna bring the opacity back up to 100 and you see there's obviously a difference between the two images but we're going to just use the sections we need so if you're not used to using layer masks this is the time to use it your layer mask is here you see down here in the corner on the bottom left hand side you see this little thing that has a little square with a little circle you're gonna click on that on your layer where you have pasted into your background layer so you make sure you're on that layer and you're gonna click right there and you see this layer mask that came on so next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take a brush and you want to paint black into this layer area so you see that that's without the background so you're gonna paint black into that layer with a brush with a very soft brush and I do 100% and here we go I'm using a medium Wacom tablet and I have my pen set up on the side to make the brush big or smaller if you don't have a Wacom tablet I suggest you grab one it's amazing so here we're gonna you can press X to switch your black and whites or you can click on this button this little arrow thing here so we're gonna do black and we're gonna start removing the areas where we don't need and we're gonna start blending you see that this came back you just press X and get rid of it and X again and and all we're doing is just blending those two together you see here how the black is the areas I've removed and I've done it with a soft brush so you can't tell now here's my finger all I have to do is press X and I've painted it out again and it's really that simple at this point I would sandwich the two together now a little hint is remove the little eyeball and see if you can see any harsh edges so do this back and forth and see if you see any harsh edges I don't I think everything looks perfect and now I'm just gonna squish the layers together using shift control E and that's the merge and I'm gonna go in and start retouching I use the clone brush at about a 35 percent opacity and now you see here how she's scrunching her face a little bit and she kinda looks not happy well we're just gonna remove that and I grab from different parts of skin so here I'm grabbing from right about here by pressing alt and clicking down and I'm always moving that area where I'm clicking I'm always moving it around so some people want their babies little hairs to show and some don't I always soften them up just a little bit not too much if people want him then you know we can always bring it back but here we go 
and I'm just softening up those little hairs, softening up this line just a little bit, taking this little area away here, and here too, just a little bit. See, there's a little redness there. We're going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. And you see all these little, little skin crumbles? You can take the patch tool here, use it on source right there and there, the first square and on source. And you're going to grab the little, little fuzzies or little patches of skin and move them to an area where you want to copy them and they're gone. So you're going to do this with anything. And this allows you to keep some of the skin intact without making it too soft. So here, see how there's, you can see the texture of the skin there. And I use the space bar to move around in the photograph. See, the space bar does this. And here, just get all these little fuzzies out of the way. If I don't like the way something looks, I can just press Control Z, Control Z, Control Z all the way. And here. And you want to copy them into very similar areas. For instance, if I had a little fuzzy here, I would copy it with the same line of skin. See that? But I don't have one. But you see here how there's darker or lighter areas here. So I want to copy from those same areas. That makes your job a lot easier. And it makes Photoshop's job a little easier too. It doesn't have to think as hard and do weird things. So, And there we go. And this is a pretty easy Photoshop. Usually babies have a lot more little dead skin cells so this baby's actually pretty good and she doesn't have a lot of redness or anything so here we go with the fingers and you can also use clone like this See how I'm always moving that little area around? I grab from here, I grab from here, I grab from here. I'm usually trying to grab from a piece of skin right next to the skin that I'm cloning. There we go. There we go. I didn't like the way the patch tool did this part, so I'm going into clone it. You can always just experiment and see what works best for you. Now that looks pretty good. So here the skin looks pretty good. There's a little bit of redness here on this little finger, and you can always take the lasso tool and just sort of go around anything that's red and it doesn't have to be perfect just you know go around everything that's got a little red in it and you're going to press shift f6 and this is for what photoshop version do i have i think it's seven six six cs6 six, i think shift f6 oops sorry guys shift f6 and we're going to do oh i don't know about 20 for feather. So F shift F6 is feather. And then you can change the redness in a lot of different ways. Sometimes right in the same image, I'll go in and I'll brighten. See what it made difference that made? Control M brings up curves. And you can go right in here and change the different parts of like, let's say you want to remove red, you want to add red, green, blue. So I'm going to add a little bit of warmth because the rest of the image has a little bit of warmth and it was a little bright. Let's remove a little red and that already looks a million times better. You can also go in and make it a separate layer and go in and uh, do a selective color. We'll get into that another day when it's a little bit more serious case. This really isn't. 
So from this point, I think it looks pretty good. We don't need to retouch any of the background. I don't like this little gray here, so I'm going to just kind of chop it up a little bit. There we go. These little areas here. And again, I'm at 35%. And from here, it looks pretty good. I will normally save a copy at this point. And I'll do a C here. And then I personally love to use RadLab. There's nothing in RadLab that you can't do on your own. It's just, I think it costs like a hundred bucks and it makes adding the contrast and filters and all kinds of fun stuff really easy. I'm not being paid and I'm not sponsored by Rad Lab, but I have little recipes that I've already made like lights on and contrast and edge blur. You can also do things individually like lights on, uh, snap, which is a contrast, uh, make it cool it down. Uh, vibrancies of different types, um, burning the edges and edge blur. So I'm going to go to my recipe, which is Beautiful Baby, which I'm just adding a little lightness and a little bit of luminous contrast with a little bit of a particular vibrancy and just I'm removing a little bit of the edge blurriness, but a little edge blur. And that's it. Again, you could just brighten it up and it's just as easy. And that's an image. You can also use Rad Lab or, a, you know, you can get all these different actions that do all kinds of pastel -y layers and you can get them free all over the internet. Anytime you sign up or something, they're throwing free stuff at you, like all these artistic add-ons. You can play with all of them with different variations. For me, I'm perfectly happy with an image looking pretty clean and that's that. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Ask any questions that you like and uh, have a great day.